They train hours a day for months on end to get to this place, and still they persist. They put friendships on hold and loved ones to the test as they work toward what for most will prove to be an impossible dream, and still they persevere. With strength and agility, they seem to defy gravity as they move through time and space on a wing and a prayer. Some call it sport aerobics. Others call it poetry in motion. For these athletes, it is nothing short of the challenge of a lifetime. From Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California, it's the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship. Brought to you by Valley Total Fitness. Be fit now. I'm Brian Drever, and we're coming to you from the world famous Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. Some of the most fit athletes from around the world are here to compete in the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship. With over 50 nations in sport aerobics today, this event has become the ultimate challenge in the world of fitness. As these athletes prepare to take on that challenge, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the judging. An international panel of judges will use a 10-point system to determine which of these athletes best meets the challenge. Athletes receive up to four points for technical merit, four for artistic merit, and up to two points for degree of difficulty. The judges appear to be ready, the athletes are in place, and the Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship begins now with the mixed pairs finals. Preliminaries were held earlier to determine the top three scorers in each of the four divisions you will see today. Let's take a look at the results and see who will be going for the gold, silver, and bronze. Fifth position, Jaime Salgado and Sandra Ariagata from Chile. Last year's silver medalists, a dynamic and well choreographed routine with some execution problems and a need for more consistent intensity levels. Fourth position, Grant and Sandy Brazier, United States. In their third year at the World Aerobic Championship, this married duo shines in synchronization and showmanship, leaving Brazil, Bulgaria, and Australia to go for the gold. The mixed pair champions representing Brazil, please welcome Andrea Mateus and wait, Letty. Brazil is a powerhouse in the world of sport aerobics, constantly sending us new and outstanding performers year after year. The latest in that line of succession are Luigi Leche and Andrea Matias, who are more than capable of upholding the tradition.
outstanding partner move. That vertical split flip exemplifies the kind of technical skill that these two carry into competition from their preparation. Let's see how they scored overall, though. Technical merit, 2.70. Artistic merit, 2.65. Degree of difficulty, 1.44. Zero deductions. Brazil score, 6.79. The mixed pair champions representing Bulgaria, please welcome Koloyan Kolonov and Kostanza Popova. The Bulgarian pair are both former gymnasts who bring incredible skill and a degree of difficulty before and have raised the bar to a height which few can attain. Koloyan Kalyanov is a favorite for individual goal and with his partner Kostanza Popova could become a double medalist in these championships. <laughs> Circles in unison, a one arm press above his head, amazing skill and execution. Just a few of the incredibly difficult moves that must have impressed the judges. Technical merit 2.78, artistic merit 2.63, degree of difficulty 1.33, zero deductions. Bulgaria score 6.74. The mixed pair champions representing Australia, please welcome Lisa Osborne and Dean Wright. Co-leaders after semi-finals, the Australians equal the highest marks while giving up points for degree of difficulty. That means flawless execution and artistic merit. At home in Victoria, each also recognized that the other was the best. Together, Dean Wright and Lisa Osborne just may be.
and precision. How about that amazing move in the middle of their routine? A half flare on her back, like a pommel horse move. Exciting, and of course, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, the scores for Australia. Technical merit, 3.00. Artistic merit, 2.88. Degree of difficulty, 1.28. Zero deductions. Australia's score, 7.16. With, with a score of 7.16, the gold medal goes to Australia, Lisa Osborne and Dean Wright. With a score of 6.79 points. The silver medal goes to Brazil. With a score of 6.74 points. The bronze medal goes to Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your champions. Just ahead, the women's and men's division from the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship return. Stay tuned. The Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship continues now with the finals in the women's division. Let's take a quick look at the preliminaries and see who advanced to the finals. Fifth position, Milena Tarnichkova, Bulgaria. Milena possesses a rare combination of graceful flow and raw power. She awed the crowd and judges with a well-executed full-turn straddle jump from a kneeling position. Fourth position went to Chloe Megra of France, a very talented athlete who is new to sport aerobics and has successfully transitioned from the sport of gymnastics. Leaving Brazil, Australia, and Japan still left to go for the gold. The women's individual champion representing Brazil, please welcome Izamara Sakati. The consummate professional, Izamara Sakati, has modified her routine after every round so far in an effort to improve her chances of winning. So far, it's working. She comes to this final round, ranked third, and maybe still moving up. Total package. Looks good for a medal. What color? We'll have to wait and find out. Technical merit, 2.83. Artistic merit, 2.55. Degree of difficulty, 1.50. Zero deductions. Brazil's score, 6.88. The women's individual champion representing Australia, please welcome Juanita Little. Australia's Juanita Little has an unusual way of getting ready to compete. She loves scary movies, but settles in front of the TV to watch something really sad. Then goes out and performs with raw emotion to go along with her obvious skill.
good ones make it look easy, don't they? But that double illusion move in the middle of her routine, nothing short of incredible. Did you notice that? Just one example of a fine performance. Let's check out the scores. Technical merit, 2.98. Artistic merit, 2.68. Degree of difficulty, 1.44. Zero deductions. Australia score, 7.10. The women's individual champion representing Japan, please welcome Yuriko Ito. In the semi-final round, Japan's Yuriko Ito absolutely electrified the audience and apparently impressed the judges too. She comes into the medal round in first place and has promised that she will be even better. I can hardly wait. One, two, three. is phenomenal. She sells every move with conviction and charm. Clean, powerful, flexible. She has it all. Let's see if it was good enough for a gold medal. Technical merit, 2.98. Artistic merit, 2.90. Degree of difficulty, 1.39. Zero deductions. Japan score, 7.27. Ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 7.27 points, the gold medal goes to Japan, Yuriko Ito. With a score of 7.10, the silver medal goes to Australia, Juanita Wright. With a score of 6.88 points, the bronze medal goes to Brazil, Isamara Sakate. Ladies and gentlemen, your world aerobic champions. Stay tuned for the men's individual and tri-team divisions and a lot more excitement from the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship. Don't go anywhere. There is so much enthusiasm in the house tonight. Everybody is cheering. The athletes themselves are cheering for one another. It's just mayhem here tonight, and that's what's so enjoyable about this World Aerobic Championship. Valley's association with the World Aerobic Championship will help elevate our aerobics program to a higher level by setting the standard of the ultimate aerobics performance. C'est la meilleure chose qu'on peut avoir durant l'année, le championnat du monde d'aerobics, c'est fantastique. C'est fantastique, merci mille. And this year, it's the first time we have team in the semi-finals. So this year we are really happy.
世界のみんなにいいと思えるっていうのがやっぱり一番楽しいです。Chile trae para este mundial mucha experiencia, mucho cariño a todos los competidores y mucha alegría. Trae también mucho ánimo para obtener alguna medalla con mucho esfuerzo que hemos trabajado mucho. More people are getting better and better and better, and they're doing it for the benefit of the sport, not the individual egos at all. The level of the athlete that's here this year at the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship is just the highest we've ever seen. There's an intensity in these routines, there's athleticism, the jumps, everything is so incredible that it's really hard to beat. You don't know how much further the sport can grow. Yes, we are challenged every year, every competition by those athletes that we say make us say, wow. For information on sport aerobics, call or write the Association of National Aerobic Championships Worldwide or visit our official website at www.sportaerobics-nac.com. Still ahead, the tri-team event, but up next, the men's individual finals and much, much more from the Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championships. Get ready to sweat! Welcome back to the Valley Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship. Semi-finals were held earlier to determine the three athletes who would be advancing to these men's finals. Fifth position went to Dean Wright of Australia. He was the male athlete of this year's first place mixed pair. Dean performs an individual routine displaying a solid balance of athleticism and dynamic showmanship. Fourth position went to Marcio de Oliveira, now from Germany. The 1991 World Aerobic Championship making a comeback. Although somewhat inconsistent in execution, Marcio offers a smooth performance with creative combinations of movement and excellent musical interpretation. Leaving the World Aerobic Championship gold medal in the future for Japan, Bulgaria, and Brazil. The men's individual champion representing Japan, please welcome the 1995 World Aerobic Champion, Kenichiro Numura. Kenichiro Nomura won a world championship a few years ago and has been a favorite in each of the last half dozen years to win the men's individual. A veteran who personifies the words competitor and performer. Kenny is a proud new father and a tough man to beat. Push-up early in his routine. No one does that better. 
Kenny Nomura is the total package. Let's go to the scores. Technical merit, 3.08. Artistic merit, 2.90. Degree of difficulty, 1.44. Zero deductions. Japan score, 7.42. The men's individual champion representing Bulgaria, please welcome Koloyan Koloyanov. After his routine of the semifinals, Bulgarian Koloyan Koloyanov received a standing ovation from the audience, who were mostly his competitors and peers. Testimony to the level of athleticism that this former gymnast has been able to incorporate into his new sport. This is Must See TV. Stand by to be astounded. <laughs> merit 3.15 artistic merit 2.73 degree of difficulty 1.56 zero deductions bulgaria score 7.44 The men's individual champion representing Brazil, please welcome Mario Amario. Gold medals don't come easy in these world championships. When you come to play in this sport, you'd better be good. Brazil's Mario Luis Amarico is good, good enough to be the man to beat with the highest semifinal scores in all three areas of judging, technical, artistic, and degree of difficulty. Now give me a B.
flexibility move early. Great leaps, balance, aerobic content. I told you he was good. Let's go to the judges' scores. Technical merit, 3.20. Artistic merit, 2.90. Degree of difficulty, 1.70. Deductions, zero. Brazil score, 7.80. Ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 7.80, the gold medal goes to Brazil, Mario Americo. The silver medal goes to Bulgaria, Koloyan Koleno. The bronze medal goes to Japan, Kenichiro Nomura. Ladies and gentlemen, your individual men world champions. Here are the results of the men's individual finals. Just ahead, the Tri-Team Finals, when the Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship continues. We're back at Knott's Berry Farm for the final event of the Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship, the Tri-Team Division. Here are the standings coming into the finals. Fifth position went to Korea with a well-synchronized and precise routine. With improved balance of strength and flexibility, this team could definitely move to the top. Fourth position, Bulgaria. First time athletes at the World Championships with a lot of potential and an artistically innovative approach to choreography and showmanship. Still hoping to take home the gold are the teams from Japan, Brazil, and the United States. The Tri-Team Champions representing Japan Please welcome Shiyoshi Ishida, Suguru Inaba, and Asaka Hiroshi. The team from Japan is the only mixed team in the competition, a situation which often leads to the team choreographing its routine to feature the single member. But Asuka Hiroshi can play any position and does with her male partners, Tsuyoshi Ishida and Shigeru Inaba. Interchangeable elements blended nicely into a single entity. Exactly the combination the judges look for. Let's go to the scores. The scores for Japan. Technical merit, 1.98. Artistic merit, 2.75. Degree of difficulty, 1.09. Zero deductions. Japan score, 5.82. The Tri-Team Champions from Brazil, please welcome Admilson Vittorio, Ibsen Nogueira, and Leonardo Fajeda. 
it's said for good reason that the road to a championship in sport aerobics goes through Brazil. They are the only nation with finalists in all four categories. Currently ranked second after semifinals are Leonardo da Silva, Ibsen Nogueira, and Admilson Vittorio. done about that intricate press lift midway through their routine Brazil always tough they're sure to get high marks from the judges let's see the score is for Brazil technical merit 2.33 artistic merit 2.45 degree of difficulty 1.33 zero deductions Brazil score 6.11. The Tri Team Champions representing the United States, please welcome Heather Parker, Vicki Dumois, and Kelly Yakaba. You won't see Ann McVetty or world champion Roberson Magayas on stage, but make no mistake, they are as much a part of this team as the three women who are on stage. Two time U.S. champions and the top ranked team going into this final from Tampa, Florida. Kelly Yakabak, Heather Parker, and Vicky Dumois.
precision, precision, and more precision. Unequaled synchronization. That's what makes tri-team competition so special and why these three are the best. Cross your fingers, American fans. Let's listen for the scores. Technical merit, 2.70. Artistic merit, 2.83. Degree of difficulty, 1.31. Zero deductions. Total score for the United States, 6.84. Ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 6.84, the gold medal goes to the United States. The silver medal goes to Brazil. The bronze medal goes to Japan. The Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship returns shortly with the medal ceremony and a look at the highlights. On behalf of our 5,000 aerobics instructors that teach more than 14,000 classes a week to millions of participants, we at Bally Total Fitness, the world's largest health club chain, are proud to support the World Aerobics Championship. And it is our hope that the fitness levels displayed here by the competitors tonight will help motivate others to become active and get more physically fit. Thank you so much. Some people say they work out to discover Nirvana. We go to Nirvana and discover working out. Club Med Vacations. Remember, if you don't explore, you won't discover anything. Continental Airlines is the official airline of the World Aerobic Championship. Continental, more airline for your money. Located in Buena Park, California, the Buena Park Hotel and Convention Center is a full-service hotel adjacent to Knott's Berry Farm and a short complimentary shuttle to Disneyland Park. Wherever you are in the world, contact the Association of National Aerobic Championships for fitness education and the most current sports aerobic information. The Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship was brought to you by Bally Total Fitness. Be fit now. One thing is for certain, this sport grows more exciting and challenging every year. With their dedication and training, these gifted athletes never fail to thrill us with their strength, flexibility, and dynamic performances. This is Brian Drever saying so long for now from Knott's Berry Farm and the Bally Total Fitness World Aerobic Championship. <laughs>